Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of SlideScope where we are learning about connecting Python pandas with MongoDB and connecting a collection inside MongoDB database reading that data uh, collection into Python pandas. Here you can see the output. So we, uh, this is a data frame output and we will learn how to do this. So first of all the library that you need here is PyMongo library and in order to install PyMongo library in my anaconda prompt I have written pip install PyMongo. If you are using Google Colab or any other application to run python pandas or to import python pandas make sure that you install this library i am running anaconda navigator so i am running jupyter notebook through anaconda navigator and that's why in anaconda prompt i have installed this library so here you can see the installation now after installing you will from pymongo library we will import the mongo client make sure you write it like this m is capital and c is capital i will share yeah. this code with you then we are creating a function called connect mongo in this function as you can see host port username password and db so we have five arguments here host will be local host because we are running mongodb using mongodb compass this is a gui interface which is used to create or analyze mongodb databases we have separate videos of how to install mongodb databases and how to connect mongodb databases with mongodb compass so here we have created a database called superstore and in this database we have created a collection called orders and you can see this collection here so in every order we have order id order date shipping date shipping mode customer id customer name segment country city state and so on so here you can see we have some numerical data as well as some categorical data and it th this data has total of 9994 rows so in this data we have created these documents every document is listed here and once we made sure that all the uh, documents are listed here all the objects are listed here what we will do we will first create this function now in this function we have applied a condition if username and password so if username and password are there so if username and password are set we will use the mongo uri so mongo uri basically starts with this mongo db and then it has various elements so let's see that so from here go to connect and new window here you can see the uri of your mongo db it has mongodb colon two forward slashes then local host that is our, because we are hosting mongodb on local host and then colon and then this port remember if you are hosting mongodb on a remote server or on some web hosting so in that case you will have a different address here and you will have an id and password so you can ask that to the server administrator and you will need those things to connect to a remote mongodb database we for simplicity we are just understanding with the help of a local database now here you can see we have created this uri in this format and then this is important step using the mongo client that we imported we we are going to create a connection so whenever we have to connect with any database which is running on some server the first thing that we do is we create a connection string or a connection so using the mongo uri connection string we will connect using the mongo client otherwise again if username and password are not there 
so mongodb will connect with the help of host n port so i will tell you this thing will come later into the this thing will come later when we will connect it now we have created another uh, function here that is called read mongo the first one is connect mongo then there is read mongo so in read mongo we have database and collection as our main uh, arguments then we have a query so you can provide a mongodb query here also in order to select any particular collection or any particular data we have host which is local host we have port which is set as 27017 so here we just created this uh, with the help of these parameters now here we are providing those details username we have set none password we have set none and similarly you can see that we have also used no id is equal to true now read mongo and store into data frame so these step will read the data from mongodb and store it into the data frame so first of all we are writing db so like what what will be the name of that database so it will be connected so this function will run obviously we will have host we will have port username password and database will be database now we will use cursor this cursor will so this is db inside db we have collection name then we will use find query make a query to the specific db and collection because we will provide this db and collection will be provided now the data frame is created using pd dot data frame so here we are creating this data frame object uh, with with the help of data frame class of pandas and here we will use list so this cursor will have all the data and then it will have all these documents basically so whatever documents you are seeing here all these documents will now be collected inside a list with the help of this cursor and then we will convert it into a tabular data frame then there is one more thing when we connect uh, these objects there is this id which is automatically added by mongodb so that is what we are doing here like if there is no id then delete data frame id and then return the df so this will delete the underscore id which is needed in case of mongodb but again we are deleting it because we are we already have a row id here in our database we already have row id which is unique to every row now this function will simply return df again this code will be provided to you so that you don't have to write all of it i will provide a link in the description from where you can get this code now all you have to do is you just have to run this uh, particular function in in this function two arguments are mandatory one is db and other one is collection so once you will use it like read mongo so the name of db and the name of collection you have to specify in this order and then you will see in form of a database or in form of a data frame it is created so now if you want to store this what we can do we can do it like orders is equal to or let's make it short o now when you will run o you will see this let's print some two rows of it so you can see two rows if you want to see all the columns you can use o dot columns so after connecting with this data frame if you want to see the columns you can write this here in our data set we have information of orders so every row here represent a product that is ordered and 
this sales column represent what what was that particular order amount was quantity discount and profit received in that particular order so we have received orders from various states of usa and hence we can calculate how many orders have we received so o dot state will select the state column and then dot value underscore counts will group the data and tell us the count so you can see we have received most number of orders from california we can write something like head 10 to get a list of top 10 states in terms of number of orders and then we can select this and plot kind is equal to bar or kind is equal to pi so it's been kind is equal to bar and here is the data we can also do something like kind is equal to pi and auto pct is equal to percentage 0.2f so we want to display two decimal values so here you can see california has 28.36 percent of the orders so we can do a lot more analysis like this which we have already taught in many of our tutorials we also have a dedicated course related to python pandas on udemy so we have this course here like python libraries for data analysis and manipulation so if you want to get this course for free which has all the chapters of python pandas pandas series pandas data frame we are creating csv file interpolation replace everything so if you want to get this course for free you can follow the link in the description and you can give us your email and we will share the coupon with you thanks for watching this video we'll see you in the next python or data analysis related tutorial